Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are heading to downtown Colorado Springs. Team November, I just went by R&D and saw some pretty crazy new gear just ready and waiting for you. You should head back and see it when you get the chance. Over and out. Okay. We will do that. Oh, a real funny cartoon in there. Jeffy ripped the robo arm off that scar Refugee Hallie. <laughs> I think Hallie is the girl that we're looking for, right? What oh yeah, we already talked to her. Um, you're Hallie, aren't you? We're gonna tell her to run if we can. How do you know my name? Smiling lady asked us to catch you, but we don't help slayers. We weren't warning you instead. Keep your head down, stay safe. Your mom came to us at our HQ, asked us to find you, gave us your description. She's there now waiting for you. Never mind, kid, good luck. We're going to tell her the smiting lady asked us to catch you. You... you talked to her? Oh god, you could have sold me out, but you didn't. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll leave as soon as I can. Thank you. Alright, so we saved her. Let's... We, we want to head to the Patriarch's Palace. So that means that we're heading over here. Yes. Let's travel. Alright. Let's get in there and talk to the Patriarch. Come in, Team November. This is HQ. We finally got a signal through to Arizona. It's a bit spotty, but we got word from General Wade Woodson. He'd like to speak with you. Okay. Uh, great. Copy that, HQ. We'll be there when we can. Solid copy, November. See you soon. Over and out. All right. Cool, cool. Let's head to the Patriarch's Palace. It's up this way, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Here we come. We have a nice following now with the party pal and our clone and the dog. I wish we still had the razor back, but. Uh, good ranger party pal, keep up the good work. Click. Okay. What I really wanted to do was see its abilities, but. I guess we can't. Yes, travel to the Patriarch's Palace. And here we are. Well, let's talk to the Patriarch. Holy shit! So fancy! <laughs> yeah, it is. Used to get lots of visitors. Not anymore. Let's go talk to the Patriarch. He's sitting there on his... Missile throne. Have you found victory yet, Rangers? Uh, yes, we are ready to make a report. Uh, Tell me. The switch situation with your son Balor has been resolved. Uh, yep. Resolved. How? Uh, we have him in custody. Uh, actually, we'd like to ask you something else first. We have him in custody. I'd ask if he put up a fight, but I know better. The boy was always weak. Too many books and computers, not enough sweat and blood. But I suppose I shouldn't be wishing he had been harder to bring in. You brought him back alive, and that's what I wanted. So here's a reward for a job well done. Thank you, Rangers. What else can I do for you? Uh, we've been hearing some troubling things about you. We have some other things to report. We have a few more questions. Got some nice ammo for that. That's good. Some money saved down the road. Uh, we have a few more questions. We heard you have a secret prison somewhere in Broadmoor Heights where you keep political prisoners. Is this true? Uh, let's back up. Fine. 
We've been hearing some troubling things about you. There are always complainers. What is it now? Eagle Park unlocked railgun. You have been arming the warlords of the plains and letting them prey on settlements outside Colorado. I don't let them do anything. I only pay them not to do it to Colorado. If arms are the only payment they accept, what am I supposed to do? Uh, but the settlements in the plains are suffering. Your people believe you defeated the warlords on the battlefield. And what do you think brought those warlords to the table? But the people don't want to hear stories about treaties. They want to hear stories about victories. So stories about victories are what I give them. Okay. That's all for now. Before you go, thank you for saving that Arapaho caravan. The power armor they were carrying will help keep my marshals safe, which will keep the citizens of Colorado safe. Now get going and come back with results. Dick. All right. I guess we're heading out. Yes, travel to Broadmoor Heights. All right, back at Broadmoor Heights. And in Team November. We have a situation here with a group of women. Their families were arrested and the local authorities aren't telling them what's going on. Think you can help? Maybe. Uh, tell them to take it up with the rest of their families. We know we can help. That's our job. They're mostly unpaid, typically thankless job. Yes, that's the enthusiasm these gals are going to need. There's an opportunity here to show the women of Colorado that if local law enforcement isn't treating them fairly, the Rangers can set it right. HQ, over and out. Okay, I guess we have a new mission. Uh, let's travel back to downtown. And then we'll check out Farron Brago's club for Miss Wong. And then we'll head back to HQ. And then we'll find out what we do next. Alrighty. Let's go check out Fern Brago's club. Rangers rescue Bellevue Kid Patriarch says Gipper's had it coming. Alright. We don't really need anything. Well, we we do actually. We need some medical gear, but we'll buy that from. Uh, from Doc. I forgot to do that. Let's head in there. Alrighty. Let's talk to these kids. Brandy, Troy. Smoking team, drinking team. Is there any one that we should you be talking to? Old people. Troy, do something. <coughs> Ugh, you dorks. It was cool when you gave us beer out there, but like, no one invited you to our private party. What do you want, lamos? <laughs> <laughs> Great party we've got here. Mind if we join in? We've been getting some noise complaints. You're going to have to take this party elsewhere. Shut the shit down. You guys seem like a cute couple. Is that the same disco bot that was DJing when the club was open? Just looking around, don't mind us. We've been getting some noise complaints. <laughs> right. You're not the marshals. We don't have to listen to you. Oh, yes, you do. Why don't you go play games with the nerds upstairs? They're pretending to be lawmen, too. Get out before you throw you out. Come on, don't make us have to be the bad guys. Don't try that nice guy stuff with us. We're smarter than that. Get lost. Uh, we're not gonna do that, but I do want to see what they're talking about, the guys upstairs. Uh, 
Brian, Dan, George, Christopher. Okay. Just outside the town, you see Medicine Sam. A uh, traveling merchant walking along. He's got a big pack of first aid stuff and a mean old dog named Nursey for protection. So, uh, do you want to say hello? Uh, hi. Who are... Oh my god! You, you're rangers! Real life, actual rangers! That's right. Do you want to play robots and rangers with us? We'd be honored. What is robots and rangers? Well, why not? How do we play? Why don't you bring your game over to our HQ? Nobody will miss you there. Mess with you there. Uh, sorry, not our speak. Go play somewhere else. Story of weapons. Rangers don't play punk. Uh, what is robots and oh, rangers? Man. You are in for a treat! It's the world's greatest game of imagination and math. My Uncle okay. Gary made it up before he left town. Based it off stories he heard about you guys over the radio. Everybody takes on the role of a desert ranger. And together, they try to bring justice to the lawless wastelands of Arizona. Neat, huh? Do you want to play robots and rangers with us? We'd be honored. Uh... Hmm. I'm tempting to say that, tempted to say that, but I don't want that party moving to the HQ. Let, let's oh, do it though. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we'll see you there the All next right. time we play. Let's. Okay, this is boarded off now. Let's head in here. What's going on in here? There are some stray dogs. That's about it. Let's take a look in here. Nothing. Alright. Let's take a look at... Okay, there... Just something that we can look at. Anything out here? Let's go talk to the disco bot. Maybe we can turn that off. Here, Come on. Disco Bot is pumping out a thump and beat. The kids love it. They're dancing like crazy. Nerd stuff. Restore the Disco Bot's original military program and select the teens as its target. Hack the Disco Bot so it plays the worst music ever. Get into the groove and bust a move. Do you take requests? Leave the Disco Bot alone. We'll hack the Disco Bot so it plays the worst music ever. Okay. The teen stop and stare at the disco bot. Oh Nora. God! What's happening? My soul is dying. This is the worst music ever. I want to die. Make it stop. Sure. This party is done. I'm out here. All right. Cool. Let's. Uh, let's leave the disco bot alone. You ever know that you're my hero? This party's getting stale. Where else can we go? All right, so that should take care of that, hopefully. This party is done. I'm out here. I hope that solves it. Maybe we should have talked to Brandy and Troy. Maybe. All right, let's check our uh, mission log uh, before we go anywhere. Uh, mission log, buzzkill. Okay, we haven't done that yet, so... I guess we'll go back and talk to Troy.
Or talk to Brandy. Alright. Maybe they're gone now. Nope. They're still dancing. Let's talk to Brandy. Why are you talking to me? You again. You smell like my grandpa. <laughs> uh, you guys seem like a couple. Is that the same disco bot? No way. It's like my dad's or something. I just brought it for the party. Uh, yeah. Do you even know who Troy's dad is? He's like totally rich. Okay. Uh, you guys seem like a cute couple. Yeah. Troy and Brandy forever, right, babe? Yeah, as long as you keep your eyes on me, not all those other hussies. Ugh, babe, I told you you're the only one for me. I can't help it if I sometimes get distracted. You better help it, or we're done. Just like last week, or three weeks ago. <coughs> uh, so, Troy, I heard you could throw a football, like, really far. You must be pretty strong. You know it, babes. Only person who broke the record I set at 17 was me when I turned 18. <laughs> Maybe I can give you a little private demonstration later. Troy! What the fuck, Troy? I'm right here! Jeez, Brandy, calm down. We're just talking about sports. Just talking, Troy? Just fucking talking? Like you were just fucking talking to Heather last week? Fuck you, Troy. Not again. Brandy, baby! No! Come back. All right, maybe that girls are so volatile. <laughs> Fixes what it. About? What'd you say your names were again? What the hell happened to the music? Mm. All right. Mission log. Buzzkill. Hmm. All right, I, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna do a quick save, and I'm gonna try doing the nerd stuff six thing. See if that'll clear them out. But it has no ammo though. The disco bot begins to perform its old protocols. All unauthorized personnel must leave the area immediately. Use of deadly force has been approved. Extermination will begin in ten seconds. Oh shit! The disco bot's gone crazy! It's going to kill us! <laughs> Return to Rosie Wong. Alright, good. <laughs> nice. Alright. Cool, cool. Alright, let's head over to Rosie Wong. And get our reward. What's up here? Yes, travel to the Sandslocks apartments. Alrighty, we are here. And let's talk to Rosie. What did you do, Rangers? Did you hurt those poor kids? No, just scared them a little. Oh, yes, that's very smart. Make them scared of the police. Now they hate you. You think that'll make them better citizens? Ha! <laughs> well, now that I know that you're not so polite after all, who am I supposed to call? Damn you, Rangers. Here, take this and don't come back. I don't want your help anymore. Well, thank God. Hey, kids. All right. I don't suppose there's anything new in here, so let's just head out. Yes. All right, and we're gonna head back to HQ now, I guess, to deal with La Pala and also talk to uh, the general. Maybe I'll join the marshals. Okay. Patriarch says Dipper's had it coming. Oh, there was also. Those ladies. 
freeze to death or burn. With the uh, families that got arrested. Let, let's just take a look at the mission log for that. If there is one. No, there isn't. Alright, then we'll just uh, head out and head back to HQ. I guess we need to go to HQ to get the mission or something. That's my guess anyway. Alrighty. Let's talk to La Pala. Oh, there was also our new equipment. Let's get our new equipment first in case La Pala... Here to serve. Oh, decides to attack us or something. Is R and D in here? Maybe I don't know. I'm trying to write the script for the guided tour of the museum. Huh. How's it going? It's kinda tough. I want to do it all in verse. Wait a minute. Am I gonna have to learn that? I was hoping you would. Why? The woman is crying I, uh, and calling for help. No, I'm not much of a talker. Is, mm. is there a okay. keep letting me know what you've done? Pops? And I will be saying Okay. It's not in here, I guess. Where's R and D? Okay. It's not in there. It's not down there. Is it in the garage? Rangers. Rangers. Well, that's all right. Fine. Woman is a stout uh, as a kettle. Grim-faced and hatchet-nosed. Her clothes are plain, but judging by their cleanness, they may be the best she owns. Rangers. These ladies remind me of my mama back home. My name's Betsy. If you don't mind, we've got a request for you. Me and the girls here, we got family who were arrested a while back and put to hard labor at the Patriarch's work camp. Thing is, we've no clue where it is. And the marshals won't say a lick on the subject. She falls into an expectant silence. Do you want us to go free your people? What do you want us to do? Whatever it is, we don't want to get involved. Uh, what do you want us to do? Figure out where they're holding our loved ones. That's all we're asking you for. And we'll damn well pay you for the privilege. Nitro Ray, what's that? 400 bucks. Yeah, we'll do it. Her face gentles and it becomes clear that Betsy isn't half as old as she appears. I okay. wish we had more for you to work with, but... The only thing we got is a name. Frank Pappas was a marshal in charge of shipping folks to the work camp. Okay. Any idea where Pappas what is we now? Know is that he's retired and living somewhere downtown. Okay. Does Pappas have any friends or family who can help us find us? Find him? Someone at the marshal station might know something. They won't tell us anything but you might be luckier all right when we find the word this work camp we'll let we'll you wait no need to notify the civvies but frank's been taking his retirement at the sands lux apartments never went far from the marshals okay daisy always kept the work camp pretty hush hush most of us didn't know a thing about it except that it's somewhere outside the city old frank is ornery Oh, we can make him talk. All right, cool. How long since you took a break? I'm fine. Come on. Right, uh, Come on. I want to talk to Doc Parker. What do you need, Rangers? Uh, do you have any medicine sure. supplies you could sell us? Ooh. Alright, let's get 15 of those. We could do with some injury kits as well. Let's just get five. And let's get 20 of these. Alright. 
Okay, we don't have any junk to sell. All right, so R and D. Where the hell is R and D? All right, that worked. Oh, oh, oh. Wrench. Need to get. Let's talk to the fast back. What do you need? Mm, no. Drive safe. Where's R and D? With our new gear. We did get a new uh, weapon for this thing. We got the railgun, 418 to 576 damage. But the great communicator is better. And it costs less action points to fire. I think I'll keep that for now. Try that out. Where's R&D? I want my new gear. Is it up here? I feel bad for the refugees. A lot of people are pissed at them. Like it's their... Later, Rangers! Okay, then it might be up here. <laughs> Jesus. November, good to see you. Uh, give me one second to make sure the general's still there. General, right. are you there? I have Team November for you. Thank you, Gonzalez. Put him on. Yes, sir. Um, he's ready for you, Rangers. Have a seat. Ah, Team November. Glad we finally got through. Corporal Gonzalez said I should hear the details from you, so tell me, how's the mission going? Okay, it didn't start well. We were ambushed before we got to Colorado Springs. Only a few of us survived. Somebody knew we were coming. We got dry gulched as soon as we got here. Not many of us left. Somebody knew we were coming. An ambush? How many of you survived? Uh, we're not sure. Only a few of us made it to Colorado Springs, but some others may have scattered or been taken. Enough to take to, 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 to blah 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 blah. Enough to take revenge, General. Someone's going to pay for this. Uh, we're not sure. Only a few of us made it to Colorado Springs. What about my brother? Is Riley alive? I don't know. We don't know. We didn't find his buddy at the ambush site, so possibly. Can't say it this time, sir. He was not found after the ambush. I... I see. That is distressing. Let me know the minute you learn something. Alright. Now, what about the mission? Gonzalez told me the Patriarchs confirmed the deal, and has provided you with a HQ and supplies. I'm pleased to hear it. What are your thoughts on him? Does he seem like a reliable ally? Yeah, he's a bit of a hard ass, but he's trying to do the best for his people. We believe we can count on him. He's getting old and losing his grip, but with our help, he should survive long enough to give us what we need. We can count on him in the short term. He's a complete tyrant, and we're having second thoughts about helping him or associating the Rangers with him. If there's an, another way to save Arizona. We should try it. I think we'll do the long, the short term thing. I was afraid it might be like that. A leader doesn't ask for military help unless things are desperate. Well, hold up your end of the bargain and we'll pray he's able to hold up his. Yep. Anything else I should know about? Uh, we make contact with Angie. We've already dealt with one of the Patriarch's children. Uh, let's do we've already dealt with one of the Patriarch's Excellent. children. Glad to hear it. Keep up the good work. We've made contact with Ang Angie. So, she's alive. Uh, it seems she's abandoned. She abandoned her mission and is intent on taking the patriarch down. Damn it! I was afraid of that. That was her position before we lost contact with her. Well, don't let her sway you. I've got no doubt her reasons are good. No one amasses as much power as this patriarch has by being an angel, but 
But Angie's always had a very black and white view of the world. No room for compromise. We have to compromise. The Patriarch may be the dirtiest dog east of the Rockies, but he's also the biggest dog, and he's got the most scraps to share. Yeah. We can reconsider our relationship with him down the line, but for right now, we've got to do what he wants, or there isn't going to be a down the line for Arizona or the Rangers. I'm not asking you to fight Angie. I love her too much for that. Just keep your distance and don't let her wreck the deal. All right. That's all we have to all report. Right. Report received. Thanks for letting me know the situation on the ground. I've got no additional orders except to wrap things up ASAP. Our position here in Arizona is tenuous at best. Without the manpower we sent with you, we're stretched thin, and the gangs and militias are getting bolder by the day. Nor is the food and water situation improving. If we can get through next winter, next year's crops might be enough to keep us going. But I don't see how we're getting there without the Patriarch's promised supplies. Okay. So, no pressure. But at the same time, I, uh, hang on. I, damn it. Sorry, November. Got to get back to it. I'll try to reach out again in a few. Static. Uh, looks like we lost the signal, November. I'll let you know if I get it back. All right. Let's try talking to Gideon. It's great to be here, Rangers. I love what you've done with the place. Now, Thanks. what can I do for you? Are you settling in? Mm. Wonderfully. Thank you for asking. Your staff is so accommodating. Okay, we'd like to ask you advice on political matters. Uh, Alright, goodbye. Safe travels, Rangers. I want to find that R and D. Where the heck is R and D? Let's try talking to Sergey. I understand you had a tough decision to make between helping those poor hoons or saving that Arapaho shipment. Well, you did the right thing. That truck was full of power armor for the marshals. All right. I'll Goodbye. be here. Where the heck is R and D? Time to make this place shine. Grab a mop and let's get to work. Enjoy the displays. A I'm a ranger. You're a ranger who was assigned to me. Get going. Join the rangers, they said. A life of adventure, they said. Is it up here? I doubt it. What's that? Scale model of the machine intelligence tower. There's an inscription on the base. Nice. That's pretty cool. A commemoration of our friendship. Thank you for bringing Reagan's lost mind to us. Cool. Alright. Let's head in here and see if there's Dell. Hey, we need a fourth for Pinochle. You play? Me? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. You really want to play with me? You've been damn good to us, Rangers. No matter what happens, my people and I will stick by you. Okay. Well, thank you, Ryan. <sighs> Andy. Damn it. I was afraid of that. We've been locked up for days, but at least we had our supplies with us. How did he... No. I don't want to know. Enough death in this world. Don't need the details to make it even more bitter. Thanks for telling me, Rangers. Truth. I'll break it to the others. All right. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. Where the frick is R&D? It's not down. Ah. If you put me in here, your head's going to be on the chop rangers. Your decision to allow the refugees to remain in the barracks was an admirable one, but it's caused considerable dissent among the recruits. Fortunately, the situation hasn't escalated into violence, but Sergeant Gretzky has had his hands full keeping the two groups apart. What can I do for you? 
Right, goodbye. Good luck out there. Where is R and D? Chillblaze, Tremens, look at town. It's not Irv, is it? It could be a Irv. But he just does the clone thing. Let's try talking to him. Hey Rangers, it's good to see you again. Oh, what can I do for you? What are you working on? An army of unstoppable spider minions. What? No, no, I mean a Kevlar bikini. Uh, thanks, Irv. So and long. You, Rangers, you saved my life. Where the frick is this R and D? Is it? Is it Randy? You ever miss driving fastback? Not this much. Is aces. It was fun when I was young. You no. Know? Is it? It's uh, none of those. There's a wrench over here. Is it him? Oh, there's a container. Let's talk to Wrench. Who's the boss? But Wrench? Oh yeah, you're a little ray of sunshine. The annoying little sister I've never had. <coughs> On the other hand, sometimes being alone wasn't so bad. Okay, I guess Fastback is the boss. But thanks for closing down Little Vegas. Hopefully that'll break up Brago's whole operation. Okay. Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. But. But. There's nothing here. I don't get it. They said that we needed to get back to R&D because there was some gear for us. Talk to Delgado. Talk to Delgado. Right. But I don't see anything uh, I mean, we can try talking to Delgado again, but I don't think it'll do anything. Welcome back, Rangers. What can I do for you? So is what you've got. To. Take a look. I mean... I don't have anything. Ooh, Marshall's Law. That is a nice revolver. Mm. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Alright, never mind. Let's go talk to La Perla. Oh, we are out of time. So, we'll talk to La Perla in the next one, guys. Here to serve. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.